people can have honor, people can be honorable. A lot of times when I think about honor, you know, you think of like knights and kings and stuff where it's like, oh, you're going and doing something for the service of something and that should bring you honor the thing and thus you will be honorable. I would define honor sort of like responsibility where if you say you're going to do something that you do it and you follow through to the best of your ability. I think honor can be something that's both within and without of a person. So you might see yourself as honorable for the things that you do, but I think it's more important what other people think of you because perception is more or less reality. I think honor can be on varying degrees of individual scales. I mean, if you think your honor is being trustworthy, like, if you want to cultivate honor by being trustworthy within yourself and within your life, then you can bestow that honor on yourself. You can say, I'm honorable because I speak the truth and work in the name of truth. I feel like if you lie for the right reasons, you could still be honorable. Like, if you're lying to protect someone from a truth that might hurt them, so long as your lie doesn't have other negative consequences. Honor is really like a one-sided thing, you know? Even in the past, the dragon doesn't have honor, but the knight does but the dragon's doing something it thinks is right. Or in an army setting, you know, both sides can have people fighting honorably to their own civilization, but to each other, they're savages, evil people. So I don't think honor is something that can go both ways. Honor is to people what people think honor is.